Hello, and welcome to the second episode of the 100 Spin Test, where I take roulette strategies, play them poorly, such as staying at a table too long, ignoring instructions and generally creating less than winning conditions. In the real world, there is too much going on to play perfectly, so the goal of this channel is to honestly see if these strategies can deal with real-world situations. It's far easier to be disciplined and attentive when we aren't laying out our own money and dealing with lights people noise and whatever other annoying distractions out there that can take our focus away from the game. True to the channel's name, I will run 100 spins this session. In a real casino, that number of consecutive unmodified bets can drain a bankroll. So, for the video I'll be using a real table, but we're only playing in demo mode. It's not live, but with the exception of the tight betting timelines, this should still give you an idea of what to expect. Just remember, casinos are not there to make you rich. Be careful with your money. Bet what you can afford to lose and not be bothered. The last part of my pre-introduction is that I advise you to not limit your research to the success stories. Look at criticisms of the featured betting strategies both in the video comment section and in other parts of the internet. YouTube has some great critical channels, so seek them out. Finally, all roulette players should know that no system works all the time. Take your risks accordingly. Today's test strategy is Winner Winner Tater Dinner which was submitted to the CEG Dealer School by Chris DeCannon. I've included a link to David and Alex's January 8, 2024 video below. Since we are using an online casino and the majority of them use the single zero wheel, we too will use the European wheel. To simplify things, I've reduced the unit size to a single dollar. That is 26 out of a possible 37 numbers or a 70.2% likelihood of winning with a win netting you 28% of your bet. Without a progression, you will need almost 4 wins to recover from a loss on this. This is supposed to be a quick in and out strategy, so let's abuse it and see what happens. Based on the design of the empty chart at the bottom right of the screen, I'm giving you an idea which way this test is going to go. With that out of the way, let's speed things up and watch the progress. I'll be back at the end to summarize. We reached a high water mark of $10 and a low water mark of minus $213 before settling at a $202 loss. The largest number of losses between wins was 3. If you play the breaks rather than the trend, then consider sitting out two consecutive losing spins before attempting to bet. Quadruple your bet on loss or simply just play this strategy as intended. These won't guarantee wins, but may increase your chances. Good luck until the next time. 